Hi there guys, and welcome back to episode 2 of God King. So, last episode we spent quite a lot of time just kind of waiting around. Um, I'm not going to do that. Oh, and immediately a quest actually. Um, we're not going to do that today. We're going to... Um, yeah, we're going to just um, get straight to work. Um, we've got immediately a, a quest, which does look quite good. So that's a... Um, a forsaken traveller quest. Um, I promise this isn't scripted. Um, so we've got a desperate refugee. Um, start uh, looking to join. So we'll just accept that. We're definitely going to want any help that we can get. Um, she's not got our ideology, which is upsetting. Um, chemical interest, trigger happy and body modder. So not an awful... Um, not an awful pawn. She is um, unhappy about her wooden hand. Um, but Oh, sorry, she is happy about her wooden hand, but also has a wooden hand, so her manipulation is a bit worse. Um, so let's set up some... Um, some uh, work priorities for these guys. So we're going to want... Um, her to probably grow as her priority. Grow and then mine. I'm not interested in her hunting or eating. Uh, or um, handling, sorry. Um, so there we are. Looking nice. And oh, we've got the Sempreja actually. We're going to, because um, she's also got a chemical interest going to set up some drug priorities. So if you're below 50% um, on Ambrosia, we're going to let you take some Ambrosia uh, every other day. Um, smoke Leaf, I only do 25% because it's a big hit. Um, it's, it's good for you. But it makes you very happy, but um, it does slow you down quite a lot. And then the other things I'm going to put on 50%. So they're only kind of like a last resort. Okay. And we've got all of this Ambrosia harvested up. We'll have that hauled back. And we did have a Shiren take a bit of that. Or Sauron, sorry. And we're going to need a bed as well. So we might as well get to work straight away on that. And actually, Erica, we probably want um, to have her crafting straight away. Um, we're also very interested in making slates next. I'm going to change this wall as well to be a much smaller area, but to just kind of enclose what's right beside us for now. Do that like that. Okay, looking good. And we've got a sleep car lob as a gift. No. Okay, we'll cancel that there. Oh, and we've got food poisoning from a dirty cooking area. So it's going to be an issue. Oh, and food poisoning again. Okay. So, hopefully, this doesn't last too long. Um, it can be sleek hard tiles constructed up. Oh, or not. Cotton plants are being harvested, which is nice. And we'll probably, while we're doing this, um, start planning out what will later be our ritual room. So I like putting it to the to the left of this grow zone. Doesn't look too bad to me, or possibly to the right as well, actually. Hmm. I'm gonna go for putting it to the right. 
So we're going to start with a wall kind of like this. And then think about how big we might like it. We're going to go for seven down this way. I'm just going to edit this wall here, that building. So it goes around here. Okay. So we'll start with seven, and that would make it 15 long. Put some more 15s here as well. So 15 is quite a nice number. Multiples of three. So if we go on the um, the morbid slabs, then we can put um, three of them in quite nicely. That is the centre, isn't it? Yes, perfect. Um, Although we might want to put some of these large slabs in as well. Uh, yeah, I think I'm actually going to increase this by 1. So it's a 17 by 17. Room, and then it's going to be there, there, there on the doors. So we'll get them all forbidden. And the center is there. And then um, we'll probably make this slab into something more beautiful later on, but we're just going to have uh, granite as a placeholder. And then on the floors, we'll have. Um, let's go for a broad slab. So we'll get four of these down. And we'll have to get this uh, stone chopped out when we've got a moment. And I'm actually going to try and replace these until we get this style. There we are. Oh, and we've got hungry alpha beavers as well. Okay. Only two of them. Um, and we'll just check here. There are only two. Okay. So we'll get them uh, once Sharon's finished his food poisoning um, frenzy. We can get that all done for him. Just gonna have him fed as well. Okay. Now to finish off this richer room, so we're gonna need an altar in it. So we'll put a granite altar there in the middle at the top, um, because we're gonna to want to have the these buildings as well. And then on the outsides, we're gonna to want to fill this corner in gonna do it like this. Um, so we've got these two wide spots. Um, and I'm not sure what we'll put in the next probably sarcophagi. Um, just set into the walls so that people can be buried near where they do their rituals. Um, if we do have any deaths. Uh, of course not. We're hoping that we don't but I'm not very good at this game, so <coughs> it's very possible we will. Okay. And we've got a bunch more ambrosia, so we'll hook that up with a grow zone. Um, there we are, we're sewing on that. Okay. And the. We finished up those muscle parasites, so we're going to get. Um, Hunting is the number one priority here, because that's going to be very important for us. And in production, we can make a steel butch table as well. And we'll put that there. We can just disallow rotten animals there. Um, actually, yeah, we'll leave that for now. This is just our general dumping stock stock pile. Okay, so we've got a good amount of corn grown. Um, we probably should have started with something like rice, but hey ho. Um, the pros of corn is um, because for now we've got enough agave around us. Um, corn produces the 
most food per colonist. So that's nice to know. And yeah, we're not looking bad for food. <coughs> Beaver is attacking us back. Where are we looking? Is it going to get the Araka over here? And hopefully we can dodge and weave enough um, so that we don't take any bad hits. And there we are. So that's a couple of couple of hits on uh, Erica's left hand there, um, but was eventually dealt with. I'm going to have the other one hunted up as well because we need as much wood as we can get. Okay, and this one's revenging as well eventually. Um, as long as we can run away we should be able to, to outrun it. It's going to be moving at whereas we're going to be moving at 3 so we can outrun it, yes, it's nice to know and we're actually just going to queue up tending on Erica um, it is going to bleed out outside and it's better that we get um, Erica all tended up okay. and hopefully we can hit one more shot yet to yet but we can live and hope. And if we can hit another shot on this Alpha Beaver, then uh, then it will most likely die. Okay, I'm just gonna queue this agave up to be uh, to be done instead, because we're clearly not capable enough to hit this. Then we'll have another look at our ritual area in just a second. I'm just going to forbid the sewing on the um, on the cloth because we're not going to need any more. And cook up the agave. And we can consume that. And then we'll prioritise hunting this alpha beaver as well. There we are. Okay. As we've got the resources, we might as well um, get the butcher table all made up. So we've got the wood nearby. Um, we'll just... We've actually not got the steel. Okay. Is Erica? Erica is very good at mining. So we're going to whack that up to her number one priority when she wakes up. And just get a bit more of this steel over here. Okay, there we are. Get her to mine up another one, and then on her way back she can deliver the steel that we require. So she get that delivered there. Perfect. Okay. So we've got the um. Muscle parasites are still quite bad. It's going to be very annoying for us to deal with, but we'll do as we have to. And I think we want to actually get this butcher table done um, ASAP. So we're going to queue butchering creatures up. Just butcher as much as we can, as quickly as possible. There we are. That's one. And that's two. And we're not going to want to eat the, um, the meat raw, so we're going to focus on making some meals up with it. Again, queuing up these to be cooked. And we don't want these, we don't want any more steel here. So we get some plant cuts prioritised. And actually we don't want to be using meat in simple meals either, I don't think 
just going to cancel out once to make it all into fine meal so it goes um, quite a way further. Okay. And there we are. We've got the. Uh, Power's gone out, unfortunately. <coughs> okay. And any of these trees that are looking green, we're gonna cut down as well. Where we've got the help. Wood. And I'm going to have actually Erica prioritize crafting over mining. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, to get enough slate and stone. Speaking of slate, let's revisit, revisit our ritual area up here. So get the ritual spot down. And okay. Um, on our floors, can I go for? I think spike core tiles around the outside, made of slate. And then we've got a solar flare. So that will make people who are um, who like spikes a bit happier. I have to kill all this off there to be broken down and we'll extend these to these areas as well. And we've got a transport pod crash, so we'll have a peek at that in just a second. Okay. Up here we've got a man um, fatally wounded. is a space refugee. So as per our rules, we are going to have to capture and save him. So go on prisoners and get him all captured up. But we probably do want to um, execute him as well. Um, as we do very much like executions. And we've not really got the ability to have another prisoner right now. Or another colonist. Okay, we're actually in a daze, which is going to be an issue. Get Erica to finish the, the capture. How long till he dies? Oh, that's actually one hour. So we're going to have to um, have him tended to here. No, but you can't do that. Okay. 0.7 of an hour. So he's actually just going to die in our captivity. Um, we'll have him stripped straight away. And then tend to. And we've got the dessert quest. So this is another man, um, sadly. Okay, I'm gonna extract the skull from that. When we can do in a second. Okay. So the deserter quest. This is the um, the quest that we use if we want to fight the uh, the Imperials. Now, I'm not sure how I feel about the Imperials in this um, in this playthrough, but I do know that I like the look of the um, the clothes Maurice is wearing. He's got um, a helmet and a flak vest on there, so we might recruit recruit him and just um, well, accept the quest and um, take his clothes and and execute or eat him up as well. Okay. 
but um, if we are able to, we might want to get a just a simple hand tailor bench for 75 wood. Erica chopping up us a nice amount of stone. I'm going to have her um, after this deliver to these walls so we can get them made. Um, so she's actually very unhappy that um, she was responsible to the death of a prisoner. So, mm. and we've got another ambrosia sprout. Okay. All right. So, is she able to take some ambrosia? We're going to risk an addiction to cheer her up a bit. And this will go in about six days. Okay. And we have got um got some she's unhappy that she's being rebuffed. Now she wouldn't be a bad pawn to keep in the long run. So if we could get her to stay on, that wouldn't be bad. We could possibly um, arrest her if she tries to leave. Um, it's spoiling in 2.2 days. On the butcher creatures, we're going to butcher stranger corpses that are human mechs. But um, colonist corpses, obviously not. Okay. This ritual spot's not looking bad. Um, obviously going to need a lectern as well. And we'll just start with a wooden lectern there. Opportunity for that. Okay, another trader. What trader was that? It's a war merchant. Okay. Not going to have very much we can buy from them. But it might not be a bad time to accept the deserter quest. Um, these people are um, the Ida Troda people. Is that? I'm not very good at reading, so. And they're not at war with the um, <coughs> with the Empire, so it's actually not going to be much use to us right now. Uh, I'll get Erica to have a peek see at what these people are buying or selling, because it might be that we're able to sell them a bit of ambrosia. And we are going to keep um, eight for ourselves, but that gives us a hundred um, silver to play with. So this component as well, and the granite club. Um, we want to keep this um, t-shirt, but the wooden side cap we can get rid of. So we might be able to get um, probably a great bow. Wouldn't do us bad. Just having a think. Ideally, we'd be able to go for this great, great bow, and we would be able to get it with just three ambrosia left. That would give us quite a big boost because it's going to be doing 17 damage at 30 range, so it's much better than our short bow that we've currently got. Um, so I'm going to do that, and as soon as I can, I'll get Sharon to pick that up and oh, eating our berries okay and we've got forced weather as well so foggy rain for 17 days um, that's not going to be of any interest to us sadly so we'll just get rid of that and we are just right now um, waiting for Sharon to snap out of his uh, his bad mood. Okay. I did, um, as I said, I did change the uh, physical love to free and approved. Um, but I've not edited anything else. 
Okay, and he snapped out of it. And it's going to be important for us. We're actually not able to anymore. Um, extract the skull while we've got the opportunity. And then work on the slate tiles. Yeah. <coughs> Enforced clothing here. So you can put in this hyperweave uh, hyperweave T. And where was our great bear? Gonna have him equip the great bear next. Okay. Looking like we've got a good amount of stone blocks there. So we get this wall up and running, and Eric has now gone into a daze. Um, to keep an eye on this quest, and we've got some pigs joining. So we've got one male and one female pig. Pigs are very good. Um, so we can see about maybe setting a pen up for them, probably over here, with some be hay grass. Um, look at the structures at uh, a granite fence. Look into how much that's going to cost. Um, <coughs> the issue is we're in a, an arid shrubland, so we're not going to have very much um, very much food availability for our for our colony. Uh, get these meals cooked up while we've got the opportunity and we'll get um, this corpse all butchered out as well Perfect. okay I'm gonna haul these in and the human meat as well and just On the wildlife, it's probably worth um, hunting the dromedaries as well, as they weren't. Um, they're quite big animals, but they're not going to um, go berserk at us if we attack them. Starvation from Erica. Okay. Again, queuing up these agave to be harvested isn't a bad shout. Just queue up the, the agave near us. And then we can see the uh, the difference in the in the longbow or the great bow to the short bow is, I was going to say the accuracy, but not with our shooter. Um, have we got bad? We do have a very bad manipulation actually. So if we look at um, what's causing our shot to be bad, it is mainly the shooter. Unfortunately. Yeah, it's got the startings of heat stroke, sadly. Um, so that one's dying in 11 hours there. That's not so bad. So we're going to start hunting the other one and just keep an eye on where this one goes. So he's training up his shooting. He's level 8 now, which isn't so bad. Hopefully we can get rid of this muscle parasites fairly soon. Okay. Got about two hundred cloth, which isn't too bad. You can make some uh, some clothes out of that. Maybe an authority cap um, to make, um, so we can assign a leader or a role to. 
to Shorin. And we've got extreme blood loss on this dromedary, so we'll just prioritize hunting that straight away. So we are going to gonna want to cook that up. And did Erica eat some? She did eat some meat, some human meat. Okay, that's not so good. We're gonna want to, with our fine meals, allow human meat on that. So actually, cooking that up, cooking a meal up for Sharon. Yeah, and then we'll butcher that drum tree. Let's haul these in, and then we can uh, we can cook some more, oh, or not, some more meals. <coughs> okay, and our corn's coming along nicely now, uh, most of the way there, and both out of the. Um, out of the mental breaks, both in the, in the good. So we're gonna accept that quest now, the, the deserter. So Mandrus does come with an SMG. Um, sadly, it's biocoded, so we have to, if we want to keep him. He is sickly, but does have very good medical. Okay. Well, first things first, we're gonna have him stripped down. Sharon, take what clothes he wants, and we've got the raid. Okay. I'm gonna have these clothes put back on. There we are. I'm actually taking hits already. Okay. Would bring us an assault rifle into our hands. So we're going to have Maroos move this way and then get straight onto the attacking there. Looking good. And now he's really close range. Oh, a shame we didn't get the assault rifle. Um, so the next thing that we're going to want to do is go to want to capture Maroos. Um, we are going to want to have a little room for him to stay in, so we'll put him down here for now. We'll make that door as quickly as we can. <coughs> so we're not allowed to keep him in our colony for much longer than we can. Okay, gonna need a couple more limestone blocks. So we're gonna actually get him to work on the limestone blocks, build his own prison cell. Safe to say. And he has got arcane doctrine. Is his um, so he's not following our ideology. Actually, we've got a betrayal here as well from Erica. So she's taken a hit there and unfortunately has died. Okay. So it makes it even more important for us to get this built up ASAP. But luckily, did give up our bed, her bed, very kindly to uh, to Maroos. and we can probably execute him later on. Okay, 
Should we get work on this door first? <coughs> Excuse me. So we're all done with that. And he sent us a dromedary up. Uh, get work on this bed and the roof. There we are. And set this for prisoners. Once Maru brings back this dromedary. And we've got a shaman merchant. I'm just going to have him put down his. Uh, Clothes, and then 60% chance to arrest him and luckily he came quietly that's good um, so we can enslave him straight away but we are going to have to convert him first so that's going to be good to remember <coughs> oh, excuse me trade with these people straight off. Uh, actually consume a meal first would be best. And then have a bit of a nap. Okay. We'll just get rid of the tired debuff. And then we'll trade with them. So what have they got? Willing to buy our ambrosia and our piece of gold. We'll sell that to them. Uh, willing to buy our pigs as well. Could always do with that. A bit of psychite tea. And buy four of that to keep us happy. And a duck might not be a bad idea as well for some eggs. Currently not got a pen for it which could lead to an issue. So I think we'd pass on the duck for now and probably just buy some pemmican. Um, how much can we buy? How much nutrition is there per? Oh, okay, so we need, so that's three meals worth for 140 gold. Um, Honestly, I'm just gonna oh, silver. Sorry. Honestly, I'm just gonna take the silver. I think. We'll buy two psychite tea for, if we need it. But aside from that, yeah, the silver's probably gonna do us better. Uh, we'll but trap this animal and allow meat fine meals again, and we'll cook that up. Gonna put the simple meals to the top there. Haul in this dromedary meat. Prioritize butching that up. And haul this in. And once more. Okay. So even though uh, Erica did um, betray us, she did make a bunch of um, stuff before she went, which is going to be very useful. So we'll haul in all of these clothes here. Might come in useful at some point or another. And we've got some yaks joining as well. How many yaks is that? That's two yaks, one male, one female. Okay. Again, probably will look to slaughter them up. And Maroos is having a crisis in his belief. So he's going to be wandering sadly around for a little bit. But that's fine. Okay. Drink up the tea. Consume a meal, that's nice. Just get these walls generally built. Okay. 
So he is starving. Uh, but we've delivered him a meal now, so that should go away. How about if he's moderately starving? Okay. We are rotting away the dromedary meat because of a lack of wind. So that's something we're going to want to focus on. able to cook. So what we're actually going to do is switch the uh, switch the constructing order around. Bit of rest and full. So we're cooking before we're constructing. And there we are. Okay. And it does actually, as we've seen already, um, it does work in our favour to have him very unhappy in his cell. Okay, rotted 75 geometry in me. I'm just going to haul in this agave so he's not making so many trips. Perfect. Major break risk. Um, luckily, we can go back to bed, <coughs> and that will fix that up. Um, yeah, not not going awfully. It's not um, not the best we've ever seen. We are getting some quite bad mood debuffs, um, but hey ho, we do what we can do. start getting our complex stuff. So it looks like we're really going to be um, focusing on the diversity of our thoughts as well. Okay. Set about it, sorry. So he is currently on uh, only 30% or 27%. So it does look like we're going down still, which is good. And we've got another um, refugee. So this is a man this time. Um, accept this because we can do with the help um, <coughs> not really a good poor one and actually capable of very little <laughs> probably going to want to focus on him crafting up stuff for us um, if we're able to could be very good to get intellectual on him as well off our wall and we're just going to really focus that. And of course converting Maurice. Okay. Now we've got our hand tailor bench is almost finished. What's our crafting skill? It's six. Okay, we're going to have a look at um, by promoting it to leader or look at promoting to leader. So he's going to need a beret. So let's have a look at beret. How about is it? She can't see it on this list. Pride rep. Throaty cap. Mm. 
I can't see that. Um, yes, I'll have a look for that um, between episodes, but that is the end of this episode. We've made good progress, I'd say, this episode. We've got our ritual area all planned out. This is kind of where our base is going to be. Um, hopefully we can make it quite pretty and look quite nice. But yeah, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next episode. <laughs>